Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Please keep in mind that these energies can go vice versa. So this could be you or this could be the other person. Um, what I see is this person here um, who's thinking about somebody uh, they care for at a deep level. It is a romantic connection, or it was. Um, it could be something that didn't work out in the past. Um, but I feel if it didn't work out, this person wants to go back. Okay. Um, I feel like they're looking at this book. Uh, they also have a book behind them, but it's a little different, that book. So let's go to this book. This book holds information. It's closed. And uh, so somebody closed the book on this uh, connection. Um, but this book contains information that this person wants, okay, because they want to go back. All right. And so... The scholar, which is this other book here that's on their back, is telling them, well, you need to investigate this. You need to research this. Maybe a new approach is needed. This is a card of persevering. You have the flowers here, so they may even... Uh, want to apologize this could be also about healing okay uh, healing a relationship it could be expressions of love it could be actual flowers that uh, that they're bringing you you may receive uh, something that makes you very happy from this person in the future I feel like this person holds the key I feel like uh, I feel like they weren't ready to talk about something in the past, but I feel like they are ready now. I feel like they may have uh, suddenly thought something was a bad idea and backed off. So this then, uh, I feel like there's a reflection on the past here of something that didn't work. Okay, and so they withdrew themselves from the scene, from the situation. But now I feel like they haven't forgotten or they haven't forgotten you or they're thinking about you and thinking about making peace with this situation. So it is something that has perhaps haunted them, never left them alone. There's a feeling of, oh, they need to learn more about it. Okay. I feel like whatever it is, has power over them. We see the devil up here. So whatever is on their mind, yeah, whatever is on their mind, and this is about um, letting you back into their life or vice versa, depends who's who, it's got a power over them. It's, it's, it's something that I feel like they still want a future with you, you see. I feel like they've never been able to let you go. But they need some answers. I feel like trying to get over you or trying to let you go, they feel defeated there. They're unable to do it. They're, they're unable to do it. So um, what's the next best step? Well, that is to turn around, go back and get your answers. That's what they got to do. And that's what they're going to do. Look at that. They're going back to, to the past. You're getting a visitor from the past. This person has been watching you. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, both the things I just mentioned here. Oh, oh, God, look at this. There they are with the book under their arm. 
they're going to get their answers. I'm going to get their answers. This time, I'm going to use a different approach. That's what this is in the Six of Swords energy. And there they are, watching you. Okay, so you're definitely getting a visitor from the past here. That is this person here. So, or this person is you and you're going to go to someone. I feel like this person would have walked away from the relationship in the past. So if, if that is you, then you are this person. But now this person wants to heal it, you know. They don't want to fight anymore. Okay, they just want this fight to end. They want to make peace with this situation. And they want to start over fresh with you. They want to make new memories. Put the past in the past. Okay, that's what they want to do. In order to do that, they need certain information. Um, because I think they believe in their heart that you are the one, you know. Um, and there is hope now that they may get their wish. You know, so. I feel like um, they have a lot of insecurities. Um, they're not sure. They're not may maybe not happy with your their options about how to approach this uh, with you. They're looking at the details. They're missing details. Well, this is just a card of uh, somebody who's been sitting down not helping themselves. And um, when it comes to this love situation, um, maybe woe is me type of energy. Um, and this is about needing to get up and help yourself when it comes to this opportunity that they want. And, and that's basically what these cards are saying. Go and get your information. Do your research. Find your answers. Persevere. Because there's potential for something here. There's potential for more here. But you need to chase it. You need to go get it. There they are thinking. <laughs> the seven of wisdom. Hmm, should I do this? Should I let them in? <laughs> ah, yeah. I feel like they're very tempted, most definitely. They're tempted and they have a lot of fears. But um, there's something um, that just still makes them believe in this relationship. Um, there's something uh, about this connection. And um, they still want a future with you. They still have a vision of a future with you. But will it actually happen? Well, they're never going to know if they sit here in this energy of woe is me. You know, there is potential here, but they need to go after it. They need to fight for it. Here they are. See, that's the same message basically as this one over here. Um, this is uh, drinking, drinking to the bottom of the cup. Woe is me. Oh, you know, um, crying over spilled milk. The, the, this card saying you don't have to drink to the bottom of the cup. You, if you're unhappy with your life, you you can change things, but you must choose to change them. And so uh, this is what he's doing. Okay, he's beginning the process, and so he's practicing what he's going to say. Well, what if I said this, or what if I... This is how he's going to... He wants to know or needs to feel comfortable in how he's going to approach you, okay? But I feel like the moment... I kind of feel like uh, the moment 
that he actually meets with you everything he's he thought he was going to say it's like it goes out the window <laughs> and he will end up speaking from his heart that's what i i believe here I feel like this is somebody with a lot of insecurities. They've had some bad experiences. Um, and so those bad experiences, those ghosts kind of haunt them here when it comes to opening up their heart to love. Um, again, there they are thinking. They're, very, they're armored. They wear armor under their clothes. They can come off uh, appearing to be very cold um uncaring but they um that's just a cover up <laughs> that's a cover up for the hurt that that they've experienced that's all they really do want to love again they really do want to love again and so there they are heavily thinking about it <laughs> heavily heavily thinking about it mm, maybe i did go to the extreme maybe i did take this too far you know because I want to have a relationship with this person and this is the dream the vision the four of wands um, this is a card of overcoming obstacles you know letting bygones be bygones and uh, deepening a relationship and I, I believe that that is what they're going to attempt to do. It is what they're thinking of. Um, yeah, see, there's death. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, my God. What's under my hand? Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised at this card either. There, I got to bring it forward, too. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop here. Okay. So we're stopping now after this card <laughs> so when they left you this person when when they walked away um, because of whatever happened between you they still cared about you but they didn't show you they didn't they didn't want you to see how they were hurting okay they didn't want you to see they are going to try to move this um, uh, to a better place um, they are going to try to uh, persevere and, and get the answers they need in order to make this work, okay? Because they really do want to make peace with you. Um, they want to face these uh, ghosts now. I don't feel they were ready to in the past, but I feel that they are ready now. I feel like they have learned a lot and they have realized a lot. So they've had a wake-up call. Um, and this is what they want. They want you back in their life. Okay. They want what they once had with you. That love. That feeling of home, of, you know, we belong together. And there's the temptation. Okay, this person, this person is so tempted to do this. I feel like they're like on the verge, getting ready. There they are, getting ready. That's a card of getting ready, preparing. Um, but when it comes right down to it, they will speak from their heart. Okay, everything they practiced here, gone, out the window. Um, because you have a certain effect on them as well uh, this is uh, mutual so you they would have a certain effect on you neither one of you realize it but this is what is going on um, with that devil energy there and so um, <laughs> everything practiced it will be forgotten and um, they will speak from their heart and so I think that there is a, a brand new start here for you and this person, frankly, coming. All right. And um, I feel like you belong together. The flowers makes everything better. And they're right here. 
that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you. Bye for now.